Okay, I'm going to show you just a couple of the trickier ones of this factor by grouping. Uh, so two of them. One is this question 17, where, let's get a pen up, you have the negative in the middle, okay? But I'm still going to do the same technique. I'm going to split it down the middle, all right? Okay, because I've looked at it, again, I can't factor anything out of all four at once, but I can do it if I split it into two. Factor something out of the first two, then something out of the second two. So, looks like with these two I can factor an x out, yeah? There's an x in both. Okay, so again, I write it x, well that's what I can factor out. Let's see what's left. Right, what I do, do that, okay, that'll leave me with y. And in, you know, keep that, there's the plus, plus, and then that will give me 11, okay? So, I factor an x out, and what's left with is a y plus 11, okay? Now here we go, now, I'm going to keep the middle sign, remember how I said before, keep that middle sign, okay? Keep the middle sign, it's a minus this time, not a plus. What can I factor out of a 5y and a 55? Well, it's just the 5, okay? So I'm going to put a 5 here. Now, here we go. Now, remember, this second parenthesis should be the same as the first. Now, when somebody will make a mistake of looking at this and going, right, if I divide by 5, okay, great, well, that cancels, there's a y. But look, there's a minus here, isn't there? There's a minus there. Well, remember, it's got to be the same as the first. And the reason is, is you haven't actually factored out a 5. Look at it. You've factored out a negative 5. I just like to think, OK, as long as I've got that middle sign, then um, I'm going to factor out a 5. So what it is, is if you think about this, if you were to do the distributive law, you would have to have it plus 11, just like the first. So when you did do what's negative 5 times 5y, yes, you'd get that negative 5y there, OK? And if you did do negative 5 times 11, yes, you would get the negative 55, okay? So just remember that. It's that negative in the middle, all right? You're not really factoring out a 5. You're factoring out a negative 5. But I just like to think, keep the middle sign, then look at the question. But as long as that second parenthesis is the same as the first. So again, I can factor it out. So remember that. They're, they're the same. A lot of people make a mistake with that one where there's a minus in the middle. And again, next to it, what's left? An x minus 5. Okay? And that's the answer. Uh, those two there. Now, the other one, the other kind of tricky one is, and I'll just kind of scroll over. I'm just going to scroll over, and I'm going to scroll up. I think it's at the top here. Okay. It's this one here, question 21. Okay, so I'll do question 21. Again, I mean, nicely, it's all pluses. So it's got a middle plus, there's no tricks for the minus in the middle. So I'm going to look at that and go, right, x cubed, 9x squared. Uh, x cubed, x squared, I can pull the x squared out. No number, just the x squared. Remember, you can always pull the smallest x out, and the exponent, which is x squared. Okay. So if I do do that, okay, remember, I've got an x squared that I've pulled out. Let's see what's left. Okay, remember, uh, when you're dividing, you subtract the exponents. So I've got three of them, I take away two of them, I've got one left. All right, so we can always check by doing the distributive law. Uh, plus, and that pretty much x squares have cancelled there. So it's just a 9 left, yeah, x plus 9. So remember, there's going to be an x plus 9 over here. Now, keep the middle sign, plus. Now, here it is, maybe you might remember this from the previous video. There isn't anything I can factor out of an x plus 9 apart from a 1. Now remember this, if you stick a 1 here, it's not really going to change anything, but you've still got that x plus 9. Okay, remember, it has to be the same as that first parenthesis. And it's just there, x plus 9, it's just the 1's kind of missing in a sense. You've got to have it there for when you do the answer, what can you factor out of both? An x plus 9. What's left when you do? The x squared plus 1. x one x x squared plus one okay so there you go those are the two kind of i say trick ones one with a minus in the middle sign and one way it looks like you can't factor anything out of the second two okay so there you go